Ghoulies, we're back here on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater as uh, Mr. Wells finally fulfills his contractual obligations and returns uh, to Crimson Theater as well as Lilith has returned, Lilith Lovecraft. Now that is interesting, certainly uh, uh, worthy of discussion later on, I think. Uh, uh, Arson, you're back. Yes, reluctantly, once again, but as you said, I have to fulfill my... Uh, duties as they call it and this is it this is your last shot so this is my last shot well i'm gonna make it a good one all right i know we've had some differences in the past Uh, and i know you really didn't care for those those color japanese monster movies they kind of got you upset i i i I hated them just please tell me we're not gonna watch another one no we've got a fine feature tonight i think i think the director must have been a fan of orson welles himself and this is uh yes this is a uh, mexican movie and it's called the Brainiac, the Baron of Terror. You sure it's not about me? No, it's more about chupacabras, even though it kind of predates oh. that. Uh, oh. I don't know what you think about aliens, UFOs, and uh, <laughs> alien invasion. Does War of the Worlds ring a bell? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I think. I love well, it. Well, he comes from outer space in the shape of a giant rock. Again, we, we had another movie about rocks a while back. Anyway. Well, wait, wait a minute now. First, I want to say there's another chair there. I'm here. And what is the meaning of this fine young lady on a pedestal? At some point, a man puts a woman on a pedestal in his life. Is there anything wrong with that, sir? It's supposed to be a metaphor. No, it definitely should not be just a metaphor. I deserve my pedestal, thank you. You're comfortable up there. Very, thank you. Well, there you go. I don't know what more can you say. Perhaps, Arson, nothing. you finally met your match uh, here in the afterlife. I guess so. Just uh, I'm a little bit surprised and astonished that this is a dinner party. We're supposed to have the dinner party. There's supposed to be food. It's supposed to be a gathering. That's what you promised last time. Where is it? Well, there was a little problem with that. But we've got Ralph outside right now. He's running to Taco Bell. You did say uh, Burrito Supreme was your favorite? I did. Okay. That was in the break room. All right. Oh, I, I, oh, that. Oh. Okay, well, uh-huh. I thought I remembered I ordered a large pizza, but that's all right. Oh, a large pizza would be good, too. Mm-hmm. What do you prefer, Domino's or uh, Luigi's? <laughs> Which one's better, in your opinion? <laughs> Luigi's. Okay. <laughs> Certainly, uh, good Kenosha Italian pizza is the best. Anyway, we've got a great feature for you tonight. Great surprises coming up here on Crimson Theater. We have Lilith. Uh, <laughs> so here we are, and uh, well, the adventure will soon be done. Uh, yes, the dinner party. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry about that, Orson. I definitely owe you uh, uh, dinner at uh, Gerhard's. Well, it's supposed to be the last hurrah here, and so we're supposed to have a nice gathering this dinner is party. It. So. Well, the, the green room will be quite festive with the uh, uh, box set of uh, Taco Bell tacos that we have ordered, sent out for. And, of course, yeah. Burrito Supremes. And, uh, well, wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I do. Lo- of kings. I do love Mexican food too, so that'll that'll be a right to do for tonight. Okay? That'll be one king you don't want to wake up in the morning to, though. Huh. <laughs> you're, you're telling me. <laughs> anyway, ghoulies. Now, without further ado, let's get into the excitement. That's right. The Brainiac, the Baron of Terror, and Doctor Destruction's Crimson Theater. Right, Orson. I hope you're having a good time here on Crimson Theater tonight. Uh, what do you think of this movie? Uh, you know, it's it's uh, unique. You, you finally picked a decent movie. I appreciate okay. that. I, I appreciate the Mexican cinema. Yes, it, it, they definitely have their own style. 
Well, they were the ones that definitely tried to reinvent the gothic style when uh, a lot of people had given up on it. But uh, yes, well, they had a very interesting take on their horror films. Yes, they very did. If you notice something that uh, yeah, hearses in Mexico are two doors, not four doors. <laughs> it's a fact. That's all I got to say. Go with it. Where you, you know too much about that stuff. Uh huh. I've seen it. And the vamp. Oh, you know, uh, German robes is the vampire. No. Nostradamus. Oh wow. Interesting. Well, one thing uh, that I noticed, like I said, okay, you placed her on a pedestal. You're fine with that, I, right? I bet everyone on the oh, studio uh, broadcasting audience is fine with well, that. Well, I, I do appreciate how, how close she is to me. That's, you know, okay. that's fine. But um, then who sits there? Oh, well, we, we, we do have a special guest tonight. Uh, we just happened to show up. Oh, good uh, God. This is the afterlife. I sit there, you can hurt me. I told you never to invite her again. I was I was under contract, sir. So was she going to be at the party too? Yeah, the party course. was for me, y'all. The party man. was going to be for her. I am you the were guest be of her honor. Surprise guest, you see, Orson. I'm going to get a hold of my agent after this one. Good, go get a hold of your agent now. There's the door. Are you leaving this time, Orson? You always leave. I was, you know he's walked off on, on me your several shoes. times. I know he has. I have heard. Now, what was it like raising this child? I did not raise the child. Had I raised the child, he would have been completely different. I would he have was, been deaf. He was not raised with the proper etiquette and manners that he should have been. Grandmother, please. Oh. Just keep it down, all right? No one oh, wants to we, hear you know, any I mean, of your foolishness. The whole world is squabbling. <sighs> Ah. The politicians are squabbling. But you don't know what this <laughs> child is all about. And I say child. Well, I've heard a couple of testimonials from you, ma'am. Uh, now, I want to know more about wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. You, you said politicians, right? Well, you, did you know that I actually was going to run Nobody for the politics cares. against I McCarthy? I would have been I a wonderful gonna, senator, oh, just so you know. Listen to you. My Despite what you father, may say. My father was the notary public. And my father was also the district attorney and a state attorney. It's always about you and your family, isn't it? it your is. side. It is. And you should be ever grateful to your grandmother. No one cares about no, you. No, everyone cares about me because you, young man, with no imagination, use <sighs> your Kenosha roots imagination. And, and your head family, my family, mm. as inspiration for your dalliances, your silly films. Oh, please! I know, mm. I know! Aunt Fanny, you fashioned her after me. Admit it, you little brat. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Grandmother, I have more creativity than you have in your finger. Oh, pish posh. <laughs> you don't oh. know anything about creativity. You think that's funny? Your father! You think that's funny, sir? Your father, listen to me, I What's am that? speaking. That she's, I am that she's speaking yelling at me. I, no, I think it's very disruptive, I am disruptive, speaking actually, to you, uh, young man. Your father, my son Richard, was an inventor. He had a inventor. brilliant mind, and so did you, and you squandered it away. Squandered oh, it away? Well, he has made some great movies. Oh, Thank you. Great Listen movies. to my public out there, we my have, fans, we all have right? all the public. What do they know? You are an hourly liar. You, my hourly film, liar. my you, films, you my radio. You promises daily. It's my films, my radio. You lie on the line, huh? I was you, a star on Broadway, all oh, right? Big, did you were not. Yes, I was. Lie, lie, lie. Well, all you, you know how many places lie. I have lived at? All, all over the world. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, you never cared no. anything about what I did, oh, all right? That is so untrue. I wanted to get a hold of you and raise you properly. I just want to take proper. this time That's to the proper young let man everyone you know out there been. that... Uh, you just may uh, encounter former relatives but I didn't once get a you reach chance. the afterlife. I, I'm uh, speaking. Yes, you are speaking. I'm speaking. This is my show. Yes, I know, but I'm speaking. I will take it all of it when I do. I'm show. Please I, continue. I need to tell you, you are I mean, that Maurice Bernstein. We're charlatan. We're the only re spirit. the only way I would talk and to you is I, I completely zazzled, all right? I, that so I can't I even speak straight been to your hear you. Guardian, you would have turned out so much better, young man. You have well, no rules. He's done a pretty no good job. Thank oh, you. you. What do you know? Thank you, Dr. Oh, oh, Str oh. oh I'm taking See? the heat now. I, after these many visits to Crimson Theater, are you now telling me that you have the same uh, loathsome regard for this television show as your own grandson who's you, accused you of You have lied to me as well. 
What's that? Dinner party. You lied to me. Well, we have no problem with I, the dinner no, party. No, no excuses. Oh. You oh, he, lied. He told you the same thing, huh? He lied. This what was a setup, I'm sure. This, this was a setup. Isn't that this wonderful? Setup. Yes. This was a setup. You said to me, and I quote, you are a very special guest, and I beg you to come back. I believe he Uncle said the same thing. He ambush, said the same thing to me. He lied to you. That's usually the term he I'm lied to you. They say he's going to get Taco Bell. Oh, oh yes, yeah, so the Taco Bell's on the way, Ralph. You did say you Taco know what? Bell. You know the uh, what? enchilada supreme. We did. I deserve gourmet. All oh. right. All right. Oh please. Please. Extra please. guacamole for everybody, Ralph. Run Taco Bell, you're going to feed this ginormous gnat. Taco Bell, he ever. Well, ma'am, I think that's unheard of. No wonder <laughs> you're coughing. You're obviously talking yes, about my head, right? Being a witch. God is not. Po well, witch. What did you know about being I a witch? I heard uh, there. Well, uh, <clears throat> I heard an account from your own grandson. Oh, ginormous. Right? You, you must be, be witch, talking man. about my creativity. The, the my man, head, the right? Man who lies to everyone and says, I, do not. I was the baby Jesus in the Marshall Field live nativity. Oh, I was. Hard hockey. Hard hockey. I was there. And I was sweet man. and perfect and innocent. The way baby Jesus should be. You know innocent. nothing about baby Jesus. You, quiet on your pedestal. Hey, don't you dare talk to Dude, a young lady that always way. Always directing, always directing. That is a proper young lady, and you should address her with respect and <laughs> that dignity. That is right, sir. That I she deserves. You, come on you can't afford another chair. Lilith. Women. I love the name Lilith. <laughs> That's beside the point. Obviously, this young woman has read the Bible, and she knows her stories of Genesis. I knew you wouldn't know. I studied spirituality in my life. Oh, believe me, I know you, you have. Apparently, you, you know that. Uh, you never even looked oh, at it. You know what? what once I, you once two conflicting parties I went upstairs together. at our I house once, Lilith. and I saw all these Lilith devilish symbols written all over the place with all these dead black birds all over the ground. She was, but she was studying witchcraft. <laughs> witchcraft. <laughs> casting all these spells. All the study religions. Uh, you have to study one question. Do you own a recent copy of the Necromonica? I do not. Are you sure? I'm positive. I have the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Ah, maybe we're onto something here. I now, study. Wait, wait, now, seriously study. Seriously now, ma'am. This is my show, and I, I intend exactly. to conduct Thank it you. as it should be. And I want to I ask Orson a question. I would appreciate if it you if you would conduct it in a civil manner, young man. Let the steam out of the foghorn for just one moment. And let you Orson have riled me up so. Ru let Orson tell this account of witchcraft. Account? Of, of all the days, and this is the day I forgot my cigar. Oh, I Orson. can really use it right now. Orson, you never did well, get like past the oral phase, the did you? I asked you about witchcraft. And I told you, I have seen on several accounts, this old bag, this woman, this witch, study and practice witchcraft in her own room, you, in her house. You have never been to my house. Since you were five years old, that was the last time you entered my home. You, this, this brat would come to Kenosha and there would be parties for him. Why? I'll never know. There would throw parties for him and he would not come to visit his grandmother. He would not invite Because his of my genius, because of my creativity. Oh, because of your ego. Oh. So, so you're saying maybe that one in the same. Kenosha was What's so wrong desperate with that? it had to draw at straws and have an Orson Welles event for his hundredth birthday. This is what you're implying? They? Yes, exactly what I was implying. And let me tell you this: Gene Hoffman of the Green Ridge Cemetery has the good sense, the knowledge. Besides, she is a lady through and through. A <laughs> very nice person. She knows. She thinks everyone's a lady. She knows who is buried here in Kenosha. She thinks even men are ladies. Uh, good what job. What are you talking about? <laughs> you speak you're with a, a forked tongue. Well, you are a serpent. She shouldn't for me. Well, this is incredible. This is unparalleled. Uh, now, the Wells family uh, buried in in the uh, cemetery. Uh, do they have the proper spelling of the name Wells or oh, the uh, distorted one? The, well, there is a you, you have all the answers, Grandma. No, no. It is called the Head <laughs> Reservation, which it should be. My father, Orson Sherman Head, oh. that you are named after, young man. You mean Orson is not his first name? No, his name is George oh. Orson Georgie. Welch. Georgie! Oh. Hey. That's what I <laughs> call him. Doing? That's what the Welcome family calls him. All right. Georgie. Stop it. Pay attention, Georgie. They you know. never did respect your elders. I am Mr. Welch. How you. you treated your father. 
What what are you oh, talking you about? I your father. Oh, Dr. Maurice How Bernstein. How you treat your father? Dad, uh, she oh, apparently knows, oh, ask her. He would come to visit you at the Todd school. You wouldn't even recognize him. You wouldn't even acknowledge your father. You would support that old drunk. He was my son. Exactly. He was brilliant. <laughs> He was, uh, uh, uh. he well, was a million. Say, brilliance might have ran in the family and a little Absolutely bit washed off. Absolutely through on, the on, head uh, family. Through hey. the head family. Mr. Wells, sir. Sorry. My husband, Richard Jones Wells, who is the father of my son, Richard Wells, spelled his name W-E-L-L-S. Listen to the historian here. Why don't, you, why don't you put enough? Why don't you put enough of that brain of yours, whatever's left? into what I do. Oh. <coughs> Pay attention to what I do with my shows, with my with my, my radio, my, with my films. My, me, me, me. It's all about me. It's always been about you, Georgie. I was on to you from the beginning. <coughs> so let, was everyone let, else. Let me, I was born a genius. Let, oh, oh. Oh, Ma'am, you have the floor for another three minutes. All right. Let, <laughs> me, oh. let me tell you what That's this three minutes charlatan, too long. what this I show, do. I am speaking. <laughs> What this charlatan did when he was five years old, his parents came to visit me, as they should, and they brought their son, my, my grandson, Dickie, oh, he's dull, D dumb, stammered, and Georgie, ten years later, they had Georgie, oh. All right, uh, Mr. Well, Wells, you know, uh, hey, uh, your hey. three minutes are up, ma'am. No, uh, Wells, you, said, you have the floor for three minutes. You had three minutes. You said three minutes. That was I 35 it. seconds. I was counting. Yeah, well, that, that seemed about five minutes to you me, so that rude. was good. Was so he comes to my off. house. Yes. He comes to my house when he was five years old. He thinks he's going to get a rise out of me. I'm way too smart for that. He plunges a hmm. rubber dagger into his chest and goes, oh, oh, and this fake overacting falls on the floor as if to die like I'm going to buy this. Are you kidding me? Now, I, well, the good trait I, of a Shakespearean actor is to be a bit I, overactive. I, uh, I, Albert Finney comes to mind. I don't uh, know Mr. Finney. You do not know Albert Finney. I do not know well, Mr. Finney. Well, then you must Finney. not know Shakespeare or art, ma'am. Well, as you have seen and as you've witnessed, I just let her go on and on because you've seen her real self now. You've seen uh -huh. the old bad act like a lunatic. Uh, okay. Lunacy in Kenosha. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, it's a rarity. Yeah, so rare. I, I I don't know what to say about all this. All this uh. I, I, I'll tell you what to I, say. Oh, Jack. Your grandmother this way. Put a Definitely cork in not. it, grandmother. Put a fork oh. in it. We should put a fork in you. Hey. Talk about pork on the hook. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh, that's a low blow. You, you, man. Do I speak with false tongue? Look uh, at that, you, you man. Are, you speak with cruelty, man. Yes. <laughs> He deserves it the way he's treated me speak his with, entire life. I would only choose to speak with God, no one older than him. Okay. You nobody don't know the first thing about uh, We got to get back to the film here. Uh, oh, pish posh. Yes, uh, nobody uh, older down. than God is present on the set tonight, as far as I know. Oh. And perhaps our Greek goddess Lilith is as close as you're going to get to that. So you get right back to this horrifying film. I may not be here when you get back. That We're back. We're back here. We, uh, we try to... We have a little conference, duress, you know. Under duress. A timeout. A timeout yeah, is timeouts. good for everybody. Yes. Uh huh. So uh, I think everything.